get it. There you go. In all its beauty. No exit, no in. Ooh, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Uh, today's box is going to be a lot different than the custom videos I've been pumping out lately. Um, here on my channel, I like to pinpoint certain limited edition Gumpla, certain customs, certain third parties, certain accessories, and just really anything that catches my eye. So this is the Gundam 00 Season 2 Clear Box Set. What does that mean? It means it's the entire Celestial Beings lineup from Season 2, but all clear and all high grade. I love clear kits, but I also like Gundam 00, so this right here was the best of both worlds. That's right. Anyways, no talking about me. We're gonna get into this. We're gonna talk about some of these, okay? But all right, now, I do wanna start by saying that this box itself is pretty huge. I mean, this is my hand. This box is almost the size of like a master grade. It's just absolutely gigantic. But then again, it has to be big enough for five kids. Now, I'm here to answer the inside to this question. What is this video? This video is for the stuff that you don't see from seeing this on eBay and from seeing it on like Amazon and stuff. So everything in here is 100% the contents that it should be. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I have organized mine to be a little bit more uh, thorough so that way it's according to the kit and everything and you'll see what I mean But for the most part if you bought this off of somebody Everything in here that you see in my video should be everything you need. So let's get it started So in this box should contain a high-grade Double uh, O riser, Cheritum, Ario, Servi, and a Seraphim Gundam. Now keep in mind you don't get this base. I will be completely honest with you. You don't get any of these types of bases here. I'm really not too sure what they are. Uh, but there is like one or two that does come with their own base built on the runner. All right, and we'll talk about that. First things first, we'll start with my favorite Gundam. We have the high grade double O riser and the high grade double O riser is gonna come with its own manual here. Uh, and it's only gonna come with this manual. It doesn't come with anything else. Um, every single Gundam will come with their own manual. So you're good there. You should have four runners. You should have this one that has the uh, black stand on it with a little bit of the clear orange and a bunch of the uh, riser parts. You should have uh, the a lot of the GNs, the weapon casings and a lot of the feet armor, outer armor uh, on top of the blue armor here. So that is B runner and I think it's A, no C runner. And then last but not least, you should have the entire inner frame that's gonna be the, a little bit of the outskirts and a little bit of the clear parts for the feet. Now the inner frame, the inner armor is not clear on any of these, so you know don't don't get too pissed, don't you know don't get upset. That's just kind of how the clear kits are. So again, Double O Riser is the only one that comes with a uh, stand so far that we know of. Let's keep looking. Right next on the list is going to be the Cerevi Gundam. Uh, but before we go into this, I do want to mention to you guys that all the manuals are going to be a colored version of the kit. Uh, just because the clear kit is clear, doesn't mean that it's going to have a clear manual. Um, pretty much how clear kits have always ran is that they will make a clear version of the, of the kit but they'll make a printed version of the manual so sometimes you get a master grade kit that uh, comes regular and then it gets a clear reprint well they'll literally throw the same runners and the exact same manual with a colored version of the kit and it's just up to you so you should have your manual and you should have your uh, three bags of runners you have your inner armor which isn't the colored you have the backpack it looks like some of the uh, can some of the shoulder attachment no this looks like all stuff for the feet chest and the back um, you get the outer armor, which is going to be clear. I kind of like this right here. This is pretty dope. That's pretty fire. Uh, you get some more clear uh, smoky gray armor here. I really like this smoky gray. It reminds me of the a Nintendo 64 I had because um, I didn't have a blue or green one. I had like a smoky gray one. Uh, and then a lot more of the outer armor. But here you get some true clear, clear stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's always appreciated. Other than that, it does come with a little bit of stickers and some PC parts. So yeah, that is the Cerebi. Ooh, which one are we gonna look at next? Oh, which one are we gonna, ah, it's Charidome. So taking a look at the Charidome, you're gonna see that it's actually pretty small. So this is what I'm talking about, uh, how I put the smaller kits at the bottom. Uh, this Max is three runners. So we got our outside version, which is not clear and it's like a dark gray and then you have your green armor i'm not even gonna lie this armor is just mad beautiful i really love clear clear 
kids and I, I, I just don't know what it is about them. Yeah, I said right there. Um, I really don't know what it is about them. They just bring a certain type of beauty and uniqueness. I think this is the stand to be able to do like the rhombus for them for the Cheritum. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I even have some Zabanya shields that I may take apart and place over. Uh, so yeah, this is the manual. I've actually never seen the Cheritum Gundam in stores or even on any sites. So um, this is pretty cool. And the same thing goes for the CeraVe, except for the CeraVe, I have uh, a used one from a friend. So they're just helping me complete that 00 collection. Oh, look, I was right. Here's what you can do with these shields and everything. So that's actually pretty cool. I do appreciate that. You can also get the, oh, you can even use this for the Gian's arm type D, I think. I wonder if you can use a 00 riser for the Gian arms type E. But that's pretty cool. I really like this manual. It's definitely different this time around. So having a further look can see that we have the Arios Gundam. I will say it's the same thing for the Arios. I actually have the Curios and I have all of them in high grade normal. So I'm trying to co complete the high grades uh, first season, second season and third season and get all the clear versions. Now it says it comes with a, a fucking base. But I don't think, oh yeah, yeah, it does. There you go. So this was, yeah, this is the second, uh, this is the second uh, base. Oh, actually, you know what? I have some of these that are in a different color. Uh, so that's actually pretty badass that I was able to score this. I have some of these in like a, a green glacier. So I got those from a friend. So it'd be really neat to just kind of customize that. But uh, yeah, you have your outer armor a lot of this beautiful orange here so it looks really really nice so far three bags is what it's looking like for arios uh, and that's really two of them being the main parts and the third being no they threw in some of the the weapon bits and shoulder bits here so yeah third runner is pretty simple uh not like you're gonna be missing quite a lot there uh manual's pretty dope again it doesn't come with a, a, a clear version of the kit. It just kind of shows the colored version and it does transform too. So that would be pretty cool to see, you know, a clear and a colored uh, uh, Arios transform next to each other. That'd be dope. Finally, taking a look at it. No, nothing's missing. Legit, this is the Seraphim Gundam. I don't know how they played this and I don't know what the Seraphim Gundam comes with as far as the high grade or how they did that because there is legit only two runners and a runner of PC caps in here. So uh, it is definitely a small manual. It's, it's the smallest of them all. So as you can tell, there's really not a lot going on with the Seraphim Gundam. I mean, I don't even think it comes with weapon surely but it's pretty cool because initially i it looks like it's supposed to holy crap i get it now okay okay so the seraphim gundam actually transforms and goes on to the back of the cerevi i mean i know that's how it was in the show but damn i uh like i said i've never seen these kits before so i i didn't think that that was a thing holy shit this is gonna look awesome but yeah this is really dope you know, I've had this collection for about six, seven months, and I'm just finding out about this. This is, this is dope. This is why you take the time to look through your manuals before you build a, a kit, because you can definitely get ahead of the curve. And if there's anything that you may need to be uh, worried of, uh, you get that heads up. Oh my God, it even does come with weapons. Somehow, somewhere, it comes with beam sabers. Or maybe that's just for the server. Nope, beam sabers. It even comes with two weapons. Holy crap! I'm I'm searching for you now. I gotta find this one in colored version and put it to the Cerebi that I had. That's dope. Last but least, uh, I know you guys saw this. Um, I don't read Japanese, and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize the kindness and the care that Bandai has put behind this paper. I think this is is I think this is for customers in Japan, obviously, because that's what it says, for them to essentially put what they might be missing from every kit. So like if they bought this at a retailer and they maybe have their receipt and they didn't get the runner that comes with a stand for like the double O riser, or maybe they didn't get the whole Seraphim uh, to the Serie V at all. Maybe they could put it here, cut out the coupon. And it looks like this is where you would send and call and Maybe this is an address of some sort. Let me use this as an example. I bought a uh, high grade Atlas Gundam, right? From Galactic Toys. And when it got here, it was extremely messed up and it was extremely bent. This isn't it. This is just a Gundam and it's in my back. 
backlog over there. And so essentially what they went ahead and did is I called Galactic Toys and they gave me a credit to my account. So uh, they, the only reason they gave me a credit to my account is because they didn't have another one for me to be able to get and they didn't have another one to be able to send out. Uh, everything was on back ordered and I, it looks like I literally got the last Atlas. So um, that, that's that been chilling in my account actually for quite a while and with my birthday just passing recently, I was like, you know what, let's, let's buy ourselves a, a Gundam for my birthday. So I go on to Galactic Toys, see that they're having a sell, um, got the uh, Master Grade Exia with the sell and with my little credits. Thus, I think I paid like $3 from the Master Grade Exia. So, in a way, we don't have anything cool like this and we don't have a way to get a certain runner. But I do believe that like if you order from Amazon and you tell them, bro, hey, the LED set is missing from here. Or hey, this this is missing so and so. They'll tell you to just send the whole kit back and they'll probably send you a brand new one. Or they'll refund you your money. But this right here, this is definitely care. Uh, from a whole other planet, so I'm gonna definitely keep this. Uh, this is pretty cool And it's uh, it's very rare that you get a kit that actually has something like this. So that is the collection um, That is a small introduction to what clear Gundams are gonna look like if you didn't know this is a clear Gundam By the way, I know you want to look at it. There you go in all its beauty No exit no in Let's be honest, not a lot of people actually like clear kits for some reason. Some reason they feel that it loses the max appeal of the color separation. Uh, some people feel that it's just not a good look and that some Gundams were just not meant to be clear. It's truly like walking up to a tank and can you really say, hey, I imagine this steel tank sometime in the future or even for some demo display, there was an all clear version of the tanks. So like an almost somewhat glass-like version of the tank. Like to, to even envision stuff like that, it doesn't seem logical. It doesn't seem probably, prob, you know, pr I don't see, I don't see it being a, uh, an actual problem or a real thing, but whatever, that's besides the point. Some people actually like clear stuff because it brings nostalgia. You know, like, I'm gonna be completely real with you, right? I look at this Gundam and I'm reminded of many early 1990s and early 2000s toys that I had. I'm reminded of my, my clear Glacier Game Boy Advance. You know, I'm, I'm reminded of old Apple computers. I, I'm reminded of just a crap load of toys, little mini radios that you would get in a 25 cent machine. Yeah, I'm old. Um, you know, that would have like AM or FM or just one or the other. They would be clear. They would be dope. And I kind of like the idea of being a collectionist. I'm actually more of, I've come to terms. I'm not a hobby enthusiast person here. I'm just good at some of the skills that some hobbyists have. I'm a collector through and through. I actually joined this hobby. Um, like I said, this clear real grade quant was my first ever kit, right? And I built a bunch of clear kits from there. But it's something about clear clear kits overall that just bring a level of quality to them that's just all around awesome. Like the Exia, normally, I'm gonna be honest, does come with a sticker, but I was not about to put out, oh, by the way, this sticker is white, not clear, not, not laminated, not hollow, it's just a white ugly sticker. I didn't wanna ruin that. I really like the idea of having this, you know what I mean? So, you know, clear stuff, it may not be for everybody. You may like the real thing. That's it's a, your life, bud. Just because I am a clear kit lover doesn't mean I can't enjoy the finer beauty of like an actual colored kit or like a master grade or something like that. You know, this is a, this, Right here, this diorama was a means for me clearing up some space, but also working on my skills. I got to have the absolute dopest amount of fun here, okay? This right here was truly, truly a beast of a gun to work on. Um, if, you, if you follow me on Facebook, you've seen the post and everything, but this is my diorama, no exit, no end, exit. Uh, it is a warpath, it is a complete warpath. Uh, the arms are meant to be there. You can see we have a bunch of other Gundam-esque heads. We have a Vidar, we have an RX-78, we have a Dark Matter Exia, and a Iron-Blooded or Orphans Grimoire and a Lufrith helmet over here. So definitely lots of stuff, um, but we'll definitely talk more about that. But being a Gundam lover doesn't mean that you have to be divided, that you have to say, no, I like colored over clear. 
Yeah, you can dead ass like whatever you want. I'm just here to share what I know and just kind of bring awareness to the contents of certain kits. You know what I mean? So that has been my Gundam 00 season two review set. Thank you so much you guys for watching. This was a small video. Go Gunpla, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later.